Yeah, I mean, so I've, I've heard a lot of good things about Weldon. I think the weirdest thing was that um, a lot of t the times they would view Weldon as, like, only good for, like, a boot camp or only good for a short while, where it seemed like he had a, a great impact with uh, TSM specifically. I mean, uh, obviously, your boot camp in spring pretty much completely changed the team. Uh, you guys ended up going to the championship when you guys had pretty much no business being in that uh, in, in that championship. I mean, I think you came into the playoffs, like, fifth seed or sixth seed, something like yes. that. Um, pretty bad. Yeah, and then, like, in summer, obviously, the team became – one of the best teams went to worlds almost got out of like one of the hardest groups and then in 2017 you know he's just going back to europe he's going um back to g2 but from what i've heard uh tsm didn't make like the the real like big dick offer like the hu the huge approach to make sure that weldon stayed um do you think that like there's something about weldon that makes him only good in short instances or like that makes him good for just boot camps because that's essentially the role that he filled with tsm going forward um so I think the reason why they didn't sign him for longer was just that something happened at World 16. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but like we had the some league scrim scrims. Yep. Yeah, and there was just something like that. He did it basically, if people don't know. That was like heavily implied. Mm -hmm. Nobody really know. Like no, none of the people... It's said. Yeah, it's a mystery, isn't it? How the... so yeah. I've, always, I've made this joke many times, Svens Garen. It's weird how the only scrims that get leaked, but definitely not by the Western teams, is when Cloud9 or TSM is beating like fucking SK Telecom in the scrim. Like... <laughs> Oh, that's the scrim that just gets leaked on the server. <laughs> you fuckers are just doing it yourselves, isn't it? Like, you're not hiding anything. We're all doing it. Like, I don't know why you keep pretending. Like, it's a fucking... It's not, like the, it's not Area 51, is it? Like, it's not some super, super secret shit. You obviously just fucking leaked the shit. You're in the server. You were the ones playing. What's yeah, the well, basically, there was, like, four people or something with, with the data, like, with these scrims on the emails and one of them got <laughs> hacked one more episode, right i've invited you four here because you are the only four the murderer must be within this room what is this shit like what shit? What is it is? it's an episode of uh, Clue, i mean they, apparently the they couldn't figure out who it was that got hacked so <laughs> yeah it's like the most shit plausible deniability ever but whatever okay no no, no so then, continue with it keep going yeah, yeah. Keep going. so then well done uh i don't know he kind of made some comments about scrimming the korean teams or something online and Basically, no Korean teams want to scrim us after those comments, I think. So, I think that kind of hurt us. Yeah, let's be real. Like, jokes aside, that is just a misplay, isn't it? Like, in light of the fact that a scrim's been leaked, where the Western team's winning against the Korean team, why would you ever make any comments after that? Like, in that scenario, by the way, this is the era when if you don't get the scrims against the Korean teams, you're dead, because they were the absolute best at the time, right? Like, you need those scrims against the teams in the other group. That is a big deal, actually. Yeah, so I think he made some comments like that, and also at... 16 worlds i think he made a decision that made reginald really mad so basically they just didn't want to hire him for next year i like think what, what, fucking good eyebrows. what are you talking about what decision <laughs> uh, i mean i like he implied maybe he was going to go to work with someone else or something like something that must have hurt him on an emotional level i'm assuming right or is it well, just what did we really wanted freedom of players it's a place that them do whatever they want to do, I guess. More freedom, and Reginald was kind of... He wanted more structured. Yeah, of course. So, I mean, something happened, and then... He kind of felt like it was the wrong call, but... Weldon just made a call in the moment, and... Didn't didn't work out, I guess, you can say. Yeah. By I the mean, way, since... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just, just going to say, I mean... It, I think it's weird that, that that happened, but then they were still willing to bring Weldon back... Like in 2017, yeah, weird, uh, yeah. or, I th or maybe it was actually 2018, they were doing boot camps um, with Weldon when the team really was like going to shit and things like that. So, I mean, I feel like it's weird that they had such a big falling out and that either party was willing to um, go back into the situation. So, like, I, I don't Without know. Without one of them even dating someone in the org. Yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like, like in general, it's, a, it's such a weird uh, decision because, like, you can have people that make missed calls, but it seemed like, I, I don't know, from, from your perspective, was Weldon more valuable um, than, like, I guess the org viewed him as like, were you disappointed that Walden wasn't working with you guys the next year? Like personally, cause it seems like you liked uh, working with the guy a lot. I don't know if I was, I mean, I was kind of annoyed that he wasn't on the team anymore. I felt like he really uh, helped us uni unionize or whatever the word is, like become more, yeah. so more of a team. But as well, I kind of felt like he kind of lost track of that towards the end, so I wasn't too unhappy with him not being on there. Like, we were doing way too much mindfulness, and <laughs> like, I wouldn't say wasting our time, but, like, kind of wasting our time. 
Didn't they overwork you a bit in that team? Like, I mean, he himself even said, like, you know, you shouldn't put any team through this. Because you were kind of, like, practicing, like, Korean-style hours just all day long, right? Wasn't that when you, it was, like, three scrim blocks a day or something ridiculous? Oh, yeah. If I remember, like, our Korean boot camp, it was, oh, it was, like, insane. Every day, triple block for, like, I don't know how long. It was, like, really insane. I just remember waking up every, t every day at, like, 10 a.m. And one hour in one hour, we have scrims until, like, 12 p.m. every single day. And it was just... It was just really crazy, yeah. Yeah, that that, that seems absolutely insane. Um, obviously, I mean, twelve a.m. But yeah, yeah. Um, uh, th that that's insane. I just want to know, like, is there any specific examples you you'd give us of like where the mindfulness went too far? Where where there was like a point where you're like, all right, what the fuck are we even doing at this point? Are you guys like, you know, like around in a circle, like fucking like with a textbook on your head, like balancing, like like what what ended up happening where you're just like, all right, this is the point where I no longer want to be mindful. So I was there in my second Reiki session on double lift, hands off, of course, giving him my vibes. I thought, what am I even doing? This has got nothing to do with gank and bot lane. Double lift's like, listen, when I tell you to give me the Reiki, you give me the Reiki. And that's just how it went in TSM. So, no, what do you, come on, what do you think? Um, so there's a few instances where it might have been too weird. So I remember at the Worlds 16 again, we were doing uh, sessions each morning. And so we had like... I think it was like every morning we had like uh, 30 minutes was assigned to Weldon where he can speak. And then 30, 30 minutes assigned to Path where we can talk about draft before each scrim day. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I don't even really remember because I kind of zoned out in the Weldon's meetings or whatever because the things you were talking about was just really out there. Like... <laughs> And I was just with all consciousness around the universe. So I wasn't like, specifically listening to you. Yes. Like, some really spiritual stuff we were talking about. <laughs> and I kind of forgot about it, whatever we were talking about. But you I mean, probably yeah. regressed to a past life and started putting women in sarcophaguses or something. <laughs> <laughs> Reference to the opening song, by the way, in case anyone hear it, because that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, the opening song isn't even cut into the, <laughs> into the crack count, so people are just going to think you're on one. Yeah, yeah. doesn't make any sense whatsoever, yeah, people are going to be like, wow, Th Th Thorin is really lost it these one. days. I'll tell you on that one, whatever. <laughs> but, but, like, something is clearly making you laugh. It was just, like, the, the fact that he was going so deep into, like, the spirituality and mindfulness, so you're like, all right, this is just a joke. That's mainly w w what I'm getting here. Or is there anything specific? You know, I, I really just need like I'm trying to just make sure that there's not some crazy story that you that you have like in terms of like just going too far with like the yoga and mindfulness and all that stuff. Well, I wouldn't say it went too far. Like he wouldn't he wouldn't do something that obviously we didn't want to do. But I mean, he was really he really wanted to go to the sauna with us. So I remember one time like. <laughs> So okay. I was working out a lot in the gym back then, and I think everyone already said, like, no, well, no, we don't want to go to the sauna with you. <laughs> so, uh... Well, here's the thing, I'll actually defend him on this one, because to be fair, apparently... Oh, we gotta, did, like, we gotta get the Finland. end, we gotta get the end of that story, apparently, though. live in Finland, and in Finland, to be fair, the sauna is, like, their default. It's a bit like yeah, Russians, they, they do it a lot. It. Like, that's, they that's how it. you calm down. So I don't think, he wasn't saying it in some weird way, like, come on, guys, come on. So I'm sure there was a reason to it, like, come on, what's the rest <laughs> of the story? Uh, yeah, so basically... I think like uh, Double Lift, Bio, and uh, Bjergsen already said no. So me and uh, Hansa, we all like we kind of said no as well. And then uh, me and Hansa went to the gym one night, and uh, yeah, I mean we were working out. And then Weldon comes up with towels to the gym, and he's like, <laughs> "Okay, guys, the sauna is ready." And me and, <laughs> me and Hansa are just like, uh, I. Guess he already brought the towels. I mean, I guess we'll go to the sauna. Oh, wait a minute. This is the <laughs> fourth full time in TSM, dog. He didn't want to do it. Everyone else said they wouldn't do it. Double lift, probably. The second Weldon said it got those crazy fucking eyes. Like, bugger. I was like, what the fuck? Dude? I'm going to do that. I'm going to start watching anime. And then he, in the end, just felt obliged to do it because the motherfucker brought towels. He was like, oh, he's brought the towels and everything. <laughs> what can I do? He said, like, you're too nice a guy, Spencer. You won't come up for TSM, mate. They're evil. You're trying to make, you don't like that guy in the new Star Wars. Like they're trying to make it as a good stormtrooper. It doesn't work, mate. They're evil. You have to get the fuck out. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It was a pretty nice time hearing some uh, well done stories about Finland all naked in the sauna. But okay. Not right, gonna lie. It was, it was a nice time. 
you didn't expect that ending now, did you, Dom? You didn't think the story ended that way now, did you? No, but it no. It's going to be fun. The he's like, he's like fun. actually, it helped me a lot. And, you know, I felt a lot more calm going into the next day uh, of work. And, you know, I would recommend it to anyone in the future. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I, like, I thought you were like, I thought this shit ruined the team. But, uh, I mean, the, the thing that's so so weird is like, when you were thinking, when, when you were talking about that, that situation of like asking all the players... The thing that, that I would say is, like, when you ask Double the question, you never know how he feels about it because he always looks like he just heard the most hilarious joke ever. Like, if you look at Double F, just the way that, that, that he appears, you don't know. if some, Like, if he's talking about the most awful thing that ever happened to him, he'll always just have that, like, hidden smile where his, like, cheeks are raised. And it looks just like he's... Nervous laugh. Well, it yeah, looks like he's, he's just about to just crack cool. the fuck up. So, like, I mean, maybe you can't even blame Weldon on that one. I wouldn't know if he actually wanted to go to the, to the Sonder, Sonder or not, so... I mean, Who knew that more, Dom? It turned out in the end, Weldon's secret technique involved blowing hot air into people's faces. The yeah. jokes write themselves. The jokes fucking like themselves. True. Sure.